So in this video, we're going to be looking at angles on a straight line, angles around a point, and then angles in different polygons. So first of all, angles on a straight line. Some of you may know, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So here are some common questions on the right hand side. If this angle here is 52, then the way we would work it out is 180 take away 52, and that's going to leave us with 138 degrees. And that's going to be our final answer. Likewise with this second one, we would have to do 180 take away 141, and that's going to be 39 degrees for that. So nothing too complicated. You might have an extra line in there, so you have to add them up and then take it away from 180, but the same concepts will apply. And secondly, we have angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So this one looks a little more involved. We have 59, we have 121, and some of you may recognize this square here. When we have a square as an angle, that always represents a right angle, so that would be 90. So 59 plus 121 plus 90 actually makes 270. And then we would have to do 360 take away 270, which actually equals 90. So x must equal 90. Again, this drawing is not drawn to scale, like a lot of your exam questions will be. So don't worry about how it necessarily looks and just go with your gut and trust that you've done the method correctly. Okay, finally, we have angles within a polygon. So we know that angles within a triangle add up to 180 degrees. As you can see here, we have an equilateral triangle where all the angles are 60. We have a type of scalene triangle here, and we also have an upside down isosceles triangle there. So we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. How about a four-sided shape, a five-sided shape, and a six-sided shape? Well, a lot of you may already know, for a four-sided shape, that is actually 360 degrees. And a way to work it out is trying to divide your shape up into different triangles. So you can see here, if I was to draw a line like this, I've split that shape into two triangles. We know that in a triangle, the angles add up to 180. So that means this one must be 180, this one must be 180, leaving us with 360 in total. Likewise, with five and six, we can do exactly the same thing. So pick a point and draw the triangles that you can. And again, we've got three triangles this time. So we have 180, three lots of 180, 540. And finally, pause the video, see if you can work it out for yourself first. But if we draw those three lines again, you can pick any point, this is gonna work from anywhere. But this time we have four lots of 180. And four times 180, you can take as much time as you need, but that makes 720. So typically a general rule for the sum of the interior angles is n minus 2 multiplied by 180. n is the number of sides that the shape has here. So you can see for this hexagon here, we did 6 take away 2, which gives us 4. Multiply that by 180 and that makes 720 degrees. So that is a general equation for those higher candidates because this is something that you will be tested on at some point. But thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped.